Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Do Bumblebees Play? Read by Miranda Wilson Abstract Have you watched cute cat videos or funny dog compilations? Or primates, quote, monkeying around? Then you know that mammals love to play. Even the dancing cockatiel has gone viral. But have you ever considered whether insects play for fun? We did an experiment to test whether bumblebees take part in object play. We wanted to see whether they would interact and play with wooden balls. We found that the bumblebees did play with a ball rolling action. Their behavior fulfilled our expectations of play in animals. What's more, they also found it rewarding. We ruled out the possibility that the ball rolling was an attempt to look for food or to mate. This suggests that bumblebees may be more capable of feeling than we had thought. Introduction. Have you ever heard of a bumblebee, Bombus terrestris, rolling a ball? This may not be as crazy as it sounds. Object play is a simple type of play behavior where animals play with objects. For example, dogs love to fetch a stick or chase a ball. As young mammals grow, playing helps to develop their cognitive and motor skills. This is important for their future as adults. But what about the rest of the animal kingdom? Do insects play? To answer these questions, we need to understand what counts as play behavior. The five rules of play. Number one, no functional outcome. Play does not result in the animal obtaining food or other direct benefits. Number two, initiated freely and naturally. Play is a spur of the moment, unplanned choice. The animal wants to do it. Number three, different movements from functional behavior. Physical movements of play are different from those of functional needs. For example, looking for food or mating. Four, repeated, varied, and creative. Play must not be confused with a behavioral stereotypy. This is a repetitive movement or habitual action caused by stress, such as pacing. And number five, free from stress. Play occurs when animals are in positive states. We decided to find out whether bumblebees engage in object play, and do they find it enjoyable and rewarding? Fun fact. According to the World Wide Fund for Nature, WWF, one in three mouthfuls of food we eat depends on the work of pollinators such as bumblebees. Here in the photo, you can see a bumblebee in the middle of the image. It is perched on a flower. Methods. We used a colony of 45 bumblebees for the experiment. We placed the bees in a box separated into different areas. We video recorded them when they entered the experimental arena. They could walk freely through the object area to the feeding area. They had the option to stay in the areas with mobile and immobile small wooden balls. We also used different colored balls to see if the bees had a favorite color. The video recorded 1. Bees entering the ball area. 2. Bees touching a ball with their antennae or legs. And 3. Bees rolling a ball. To make sure it was intentional, the bee had to be in line with the ball and pull it for at least 0.4 seconds. It was very important to limit stress within the experimental arena. This was so that the bees could act naturally and carry out their normal behaviors. We made sure that ethical care guidelines were followed, a natural day-night cycle was maintained, the nest box imitated their natural environment, pollen and sucrose food was always available, and the bees were not handled unless absolutely necessary. Here in figure one, you can see a bumblebee nest box on the right side of the image was connected via a plastic tunnel to the experimental area on the left side of the image. The tunnel led to a clear path in the object area. There were colored balls on the sides of the path, nine mobile balls on the right and nine immobile balls on the left. The feeding area had sucrose and ground pollen. 
The sucrose and pollen were swapped every day to avoid the bees favoring one particular side. Results. Question. Did the bees play with the wooden balls? Answer. Yes. Across the 18-day experiment, the bees rolled the balls 910 times. One bee rolled a ball 117 times. Question. Did the bees really choose to roll the balls? Answer. The bees developed a preference for the mobile ball object area after they had rolled a ball. This suggests the bees returned because they wanted to roll the balls again. Other interesting results. Ball rolls lasted 0.4 to 31 seconds. The bees rolled the balls 2 to 601 millimeters. Ball rolling was most common in younger bees, particularly aged 3 to 7 days. And bees had no ball color preference. In figure 2, the nine panels show the sequence of a ball rolling action over approximately 4 seconds. The timestamps are in red at the top left of each panel. The bee in panel A approaches the wooden colored ball. In panel B, she touches the ball with her forelegs. In panel C, she holds onto the ball using all of her legs. In panels D through H, she rolls the ball past the yellow ball and in panel I, she finishes rolling and leaves the ball. Looking at the panels, which part of their body does the bee use to touch the ball first? Discussion. Our experiment showed that bees engage in object play behavior. This is because their ball rolling met the five rules of play. Ball rolling had no functional outcome. The bees rolled the balls after eating. They did not extend proboscises onto them, nor did they stop interacting with the balls after learning they were not edible. The bees rolled the balls in all directions with no particular destination. The male bees made no attempt to mate with the balls. The bees rolled the balls freely and naturally. The bees had the option to avoid the balls. Instead, they chose to roll them. They engaged with the balls and developed a preference for the mobile object areas. Ball rolling movements differed from functional behaviors. Ball rolling includes object rotation. This is different from flower handling. The bees did not extend their proboscises or genitalia onto balls. They also did not bite, buzz, or sting them. Also, the ball rolling speed did not increase with experience. This is different from functional behaviors which improve over time. Ball rolling was repetitive, varied, and creative. Ball roll duration, distance, and tracks varied among and within individuals, so ball rolling differs from stereotypy. Bees were free from stress. The bees did not show any stress indicators like defensive buzzing or sleepiness. Conclusion we now know that bumblebees engage in object play, like our own pets at home. Knowing this could change the way we view insects. If they can enjoy playing, maybe we need to think more carefully about how we treat them. It is important to keep learning about all creatures throughout the animal kingdom. Do you have a bug house or wildlife park nearby? Why not go and discover more about the variety of insects that live in your area? See if you notice anything unusual about their behavior. Thank you for listening to this recording. This work has been adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Animal Behavior, published in December 2022. Research conducted by Samadhi Galpayage, Kaywin Solvi, Amelia Kovalevska, and others from the School of Biological and Behavioral Sciences at Queen Mary University of London. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Please visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.